Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Um, I got this uh, 10 piece DeWalt combo kit for Christmas. Uh, so we're gonna unbox it and go through all the different tools here. Uh, we have Milo with us uh, here today as well. Um, but I've already kind of opened some of it, uh, we'll say, but we'll get right into it. It actually comes in two big giant bags. Which will be nice to have. Here's your bags, Mom. Uh, looks like in here we have the uh, the vacuum. Uh, and what else do we have here? Yes. We have. This tool, which I'm not as familiar with, I know it's like a orbiting, oscillating um, uh, router grinder thing, uh, but should be able to do a lot of cool things. Should it uh, take a lot of different attachments? Should be able to do a lot of things with this. I have to learn about that. Um, have. Reciprocating saw, um, pretty basic. Uh, all this is the 20 volt max um, set. So it's all the same. I actually have, before this, I actually have a half inch impact uh, DeWalt 20 volt as well, which is out in the garage right now, I'll show it to you. But it'll go with all this, the same battery and everything. Um, got some miscellaneous parts and tools and side handle and everything for whatnot. Some of the some of the heads for this guy that comes with. It looks like you don't have to buy. I'll give you a few things to start out with is what it looks like. So. This is going to be the I guess leaf blower you want to call it that. Um, I don't have all these part numbers memorized. So. Just like that. It's not too big, pretty small, uh, but I'm sure it pushes a good amount of air, so it should be fine. Pretty much everything in the bag. That's everything. And then getting on to the next bag that we have in here. This is the, the Bluetooth radio, a Bluetooth speaker. It's not a radio, it just has the Bluetooth speaker's part. Uh, it takes the battery in the back. Um, I already opened this earlier. It works. Uh, Sync it to my phone and everything. So, have that piece as well. It actually comes with a plug in uh, wall port. So, you don't have to run it off the battery. You can plug it in. Um, it has an aux USB and then the, the DC 12 volt to plug it into the wall. It has all that on that side. Oh, it's pretty loud, does a pretty good job. Um, it's still rather small and compact. Uh, definitely not the big DeWalt radio like most people have already seen, but nice to do it in with this set. And we have your Additional flashlight that comes with pretty much anything you buy from any cordless tool company. Uh, they make some bigger ones of these for sure that take the 20 volt battery. This is just a super small one that they that as well. Got 
the impact, the, I guess, I don't know if you call this a quarter inch, but, or whatever you, impact driver, whatever it's actually called. But that standard piece, the, the regular DeWalt grinder, which angle grinder, whatever, uh, its actual name is, but the standard tool. And that's nice to have. I think uh, the main piece with all the directions has one disc for this. They send you. That's kind of cool. They send you at least a little bit of stuff, so you're not starting off from complete scratch. And then you have the drill, 20 volt regular. Wall drill. And then I have heard some of this stuff is different. So like this drill, for example, I have heard some of the, uh, the bigger kits. This drill is a, a little bit different part number. It's a little bit different, uh, maybe the way it's made, but from just a glance, all these look, or at least all the common ones you typically see uh, looks the exact same as if you bought them individually. I know some of these don't have the uh, Made in America or Assembled in USA stickers and stuff like that, but they feel all the weights the same. They all feel the same as if you bought them individually, so I don't think there's any major difference there that I can tell. Uh, same with this grinder. It looks just like any uh, cordless grinder they have that I've seen. So in case y'all wondering about that. And then last but not least, you have Probably what I would consider the best tool in the entire thing, or maybe the most expensive, um, is the skill saw. So this was one of the, uh, probably one of the most things I wanted out of a, out of a toolkit combo set was this. Um, just like a cut wood and plywood and all that, that you can't really do with most kits that just come with the reciprocating saw. Um, it's not going to be very clean and precise, so this is definitely nice to have. It feels like it's built very well. It's pretty big, heavy duty. The, uh, the motor's pretty big, and it just, you know, it's a pretty good weight to it, so it doesn't feel light and flimsy. Um, and it's a little bigger uh, than I was expecting. I thought it was like a little bit smaller, at least from the picture. But um, yeah, that's everything. And this is all some more papers. So here's some more accessories. It looks like you probably can't tell. There's a. This might have the. Uh, yeah. This is the blade for the skill saw. I can see the tooth poking out. So I see one of those. That's pretty cool. Um, so that's what that is. So it looks like you get. I'm not sure about a blade for the reciprocating saw. I didn't see that. But it looks like you get. The disc for this, uh, a, a head or two for this guy, and then the actual skill saw blade for that. Looks like they send you all that. There might be a reciprocating saw blade, like a little short one. They send you, I just didn't see you off the top. Um, but that's everything. So you get nice two bags. You also get these right here, which I already had out and were charging. They come with like one bar. Uh, now they're fully charged. You can see that. Um, but comes with two 20 volt, two amp batteries, two amp hour batteries. I have a four amp hour battery that come with that half inch impact I bought. So I've got three batteries now. Uh, and for some of the bigger tools like this and the reciprocating saw and stuff in the grinder, it'd be nice to have that four amp hour battery last a little longer. Um, all that good stuff. So. Well, they definitely get you started off right um, with everything you pretty much need. So that's pretty much everything. Yeah, I think that's everything. Uh, it looks like uh, compared to the five tool combo kit from DeWalt, which is the one I was originally looking at uh, that I told my wife about for uh, Christmas presents and stuff like that. Turned out when she was looking and shopping, uh, I think she ended up getting it through Lowe's, but Looking around, she was able to find the pin tool combo kit on sale 
and it ended up being the same price as a five tool. So I know typically sometimes if you go up and more stuff that you need, you can usually get more of a discount. So that seemed how that worked for her, for us. So that's kind of neat because uh, I was only looking at like a three or five piece because I've got a few miscellaneous cordless tools, but none of them were the matching stuff and they were all kind of cheaper uh, grade. So nice that now I've got what essentially 11 tools that are all the same battery and all the same brand. So that definitely will happen a lot in the future and it should last a good while. Um, I'm anxious to use some of them because some I've never really even been around to use like these vacuums. I've seen them a lot from different companies, but I've never really been around how they work and everything. I think a lot of them are wet and dry vacuums. I don't know if this one is or not, but it might be. Um, and like I said about this, this tool, I haven't been around a lot, but it looks like it does a lot of routing and edging for moldings and it's like you can cut tile and wood and a lot of different things. So excited to see how that works. Um, but yeah, most of the stuff, you know, you've seen been around, some you haven't, so it'd be nice to learn about the uh, different things. And there's a lot of one-off things I can add to this later on uh, that DeWalt makes. So look forward to that. But I guess without further ado, this is pretty much everything um, that it came with. So if anybody was wondering, this is everything and uh, it all works and it's all packaged. It wouldn't miss anything that I could see. So that's a good sign. Nothing seems scratched, nothing's really messed up. So uh, I guess that's about it and maybe in the future, we might do a video or two about uh, making something out of wood or a little project we might vlog about to kind of showcase some of these in action. So we'll see. Um, but I guess that's about it. Just uh, stay tuned, like and subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, there should be some future videos on this down the road and uh, just about our daily life. So thanks for joining us and uh, we'll see you in the next one. We used the new uh, cordless sawzall to uh, cut up the tree the best we can. We're going to do it out here in the floor. Uh, I'm sure she would love that if she was here. Instead of doing it outside, we're going to sweep up it. We're going to sweep it up no matter what. So, I'll well, do it here. So, see what we can get done. Well, the tree's gone, um, and it made four little sticks of firewood. It wasn't that big on the inside, as you might have guessed, but, you know, that should burn. Maybe will, maybe not. Um, but, yeah, it's like it was never here. Um, she said she wanted it gone, so now it's gone. Um, but the cordless saw did pretty good. Uh, I went and bought these uh, blades at Harbor Freight, these Hercules blades. Oh, they did pretty, that's pretty good. Uh, it, it probably could be a little better. And, you know, when going through the trunk, uh, the bigger parts, it did take a minute. But uh, for the money you save, uh, I'm sure it's worth it. So, yeah, it did pretty good. It's pretty powerful. Um, no complaint there. So, uh, yeah, very versatile tool. I got some metal blades and different things, so uh, should be able to cut through anything with the round blade. So 